uh, seed with Cardino Nursery here, and today I'll be grafting some Hoyas. Uh, what I'm going to graft is Hoya platicalis, and, uh, which is difficult to root. And uh, I'm going to graft on Hoy Australis, which is a weed on steroids. is a very strong grower. It, uh, it produces a very strong root system. And I'm going to stick this one, glue this one on the... I'm going to use the root system of the Hoy Australis for these guys here. So if we are successful, this guy is going to gonna graft this into onto that. And then this one is going to use the root system of, of the Australis and it's going to develop as a big and strong plant. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. This is going to be the, the one that I'm going to graft. And right now I need to reduce the leaf surface of this plant. So I'm going to, let me use this other scissor here. Everything was disinfected with alcohol. So this one is gone, gone, gone. That's what I'm going to graft. And let's, I'm uh, gonna choose this one here. It has a, a pretty nice stem. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut right here. Gone. This one we can use for something else. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna use my shirt to dry out this sap a little bit. And I'm going to make uh, this you can see, uh, you know, many, many plants, they use the same system for, for uh, cleft grafting. And I'm going to split this one right in the middle. Be very careful because I like my fingers. Yep, it went about like a little bit over one inch. And now I'm going to... Uh, make a little wedge out of this guy here Okay, now I'm going to stick in there and use one of these tomato clips. And I just need one. Here we go. So it goes like that. You have to make sure the cambium matches. Just like that. Tomato clip, cambium is matching, pretty good. And now I'm going to cover with a little bit of plastic. I have a small plastic bag here. Goes right on top of it, just like that. And then I use this very sophisticated equipment here to just close the, the bag at the bottom. And here you go, it's ready. In about two weeks, uh, if the graft fails, you're going to be able to tell because things start getting black. If it's still green, uh, it's a good sign. And then we just have to wait maybe another uh, two weeks. And uh, then a little by little, uh, sometimes I just slit the plastic bag to let some air uh, going in because right now I use the plastic bag to protect the graft so the water doesn't get into the graft and also to increase the, the humidity around the whole thing. And I keep this in the shade. Uh, of course, you know, you don't want to have very hot temperatures. You want uh, good temperatures for it. You don't want direct sunlight on it. And you just have to wait and uh, see, see what happens. Hopefully I'll be successful and I'll get a nice plant out of this. Hey, uh, this is uh, one update on the Hoya grafting. As you can see here, it has been uh, two weeks since the graft was done. And the grafts, they still uh, already look green, which is a good sign. And now I'm going to remove the, the plastic that was covering the graft and uh, let it breathe a little bit because I need to start adjusting to the new environment. 
So I just going to put it back as you can see here it's still you know everything looks good everything looks green nothing's dead so it looks like the graft was a success now I just have to uh, just leave it like that for maybe another week uh, to let a little bit of air uh, breathe it in and then I'm just going to remove the plastic and uh, just let the Hoya grow and one thing that's very important to notice if anything sprouts from below this point that's the what the rootstock is it has to be removed otherwise it will take energy out of the graft and the graft end up is going to end up dying so you you want you only want to let the graft grow from now on this this one's at the bottom here anything that sprouts here it needs to be removed so uh, this is what that's what it is uh, let me show you the other one that looks a little bit better Put in the plastic bag just to keep a little bit of humidity and this one here you see it looks pretty good and uh, in another week I can remove that clip and the Hoya is up uh, you know just wait until it sprouts and uh, it starts growing all right thank you very much have a nice day bye